Valerie Hayes is my name. I'm a national tour guide speaking to you today from Dublin in Ireland. I'm outside our Natural History Museum and I'm beside the statue of Thomas Hazel Park, this gentleman here on my left. He's a very famous Irish man and he is a doctor, a humanitarian, a writer, an army officer. And the year 1857 is significant for three reasons. It's the year he was born, it's the year our Natural History Museum was opened, and it's also the year that David Livingstone of Dr. Livingstone, I presume, fame, came to speak to people here at the Natural History Museum. Dr. Park is most famous for his involvement in an expedition called the Emin Pasha Relief Project, which was in 1886. And it's depicted here on this bronze plaque, which is inset into this granite pedestal. It depicts Dr. Park sucking poison from the wound of William Stairs, one of his fellow officers, who was dying basically, and he saved his life. As you can see behind, you can see the native huts, you can see other army officers here. So you can imagine the scene, they're depending on him to save the life of one of their officers. And he does so very, very well, and he recovers. You can also see that there are some pygmy people here. He adopted a pygmy girl while he was in um, Africa, and he hoped to bring her home with him, but her eyes couldn't adapt to the light after leaving the forest. The greatest thing we can say about him was, not only was he a humanitarian, but he was also the first Irish man to cross the continent of Africa. He was with Henry Stanley when they arrived at the source of the Nile, and he's one of the first Europeans to see the mountains of the moon, those famous mountain ranges in Uganda. The story about the expedition is quite um, well documented. And Emin Pasha, who is a governor of Equatoria, had sent an SOS. He wanted to be saved. Dr. Park and the expedition of 800 people arrived to save Emin Pasha. He didn't want to leave. He had basically wanted some reinforcements, some supplies, but he was happy to remain on there. So it took a year for Dr. Park and uh, Dr. Stanley and a few others to persuade him to leave with them. There was a lot of lives lost on this journey. It was a 3,000 kilometre long journey up the River Congo. There was attacks from locals. Um, but through it all, the team and the expedition arrived home safely and eventually brought Emin Pasha with them. Afterwards, Thomas Park was lauded for his involvement in the expedition and he received many awards. He went on to live in Scotland. He died, unfortunately, at the very young age of 36 and his body was brought on a gun carriage from Dublin Port when he actually died and he was buried back in County Leitrim. It's fitting that he's commemorated here and in the stance of an army officer as he would have been in Africa at that time um, when he would have been using rifles for self-defence or maybe barter with the locals. And then here, summar summarising the achievements of his lifetime, a great humanitarian, an Irish man, Thomas Park.